hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we were exploring the fourth floor and we were just about to enter the chemistry lab. Ooh, okay. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. So this is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't do permanent damage. Hmm. Really? Is that it? We we can't look at the uh, the Bunsen burner setup or the pipe. So okay. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Being scared of it won't do any good. I'm better off just ignoring it completely. Yes, give me the money. There's much less to look at in here than I would have thought. Okay. A surveillance camera. I just don't think I'll ever get used to it. Okay, so I'm guessing all of the surveillance cameras and um, TVs will have the exact same thing. Again, I'm looking at this stuff more so because I want to see if I can find coins. It's a remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right! Ah! Listen, Makoto! Listen! Just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! I am calm. I'm perfectly calm, love. Uh, okay, Hina, just chill out. Ah! There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, keratin. Okay. And what? They even have protein zyme X? I, I don't know what that is, but I'm glad you're excited. W what's that? Hey. A high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Uh, oh, oh yeah? <sighs> this is amazing! It's a gold mine! Ah, oh, my prayers have finally been answered! Time to load up some more prayers then! A gold mine, huh? Hmm. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the Mastermind, but I can't while she's with Hina. Hey, Makoto. Huh? You need something? N no it's nothing. Huh? You sure? Okay, then. Oh, that... That's gonna be a complete shit show. I'm telling you, like, my one hope is that we can convince Sakura to come clean before Monokuma outs her. That's like my one goal. The one, because if, if Monokuma outs her, no one is going to trust her. Absolutely no one. If she comes clean about it, then at least she'll still have some credibility. You know, she'll be able to say, I wasn't pressured into telling you. I came clean about it because I felt guilty and I want you to trust me. So I'm telling you this information. Like, I... Oof. That's going to go badly. That's going to go horrifically. I can feel it. In my gut, I can feel it. This is the office. Oh, hello. This is the office and there's a picture on the floor. But, of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. Oh my god, what? We can look at a load of the flowers? Okay, also, I want to know who these guys are up here. Okay, nothing there. There's a flower on the desk. Somehow it makes things feel that much weirder. Yeah, what is... What is the purpose of all of these flowers? It's like one per desk. That's... 
Oh, do they all have coins? If they all had coins, I'd, I'd be down for that. Yep, there's a flower on the desk. <gasps> so much money. So much money. I mean, I'm, I don't know how many gifts I'm going to be able to get out of this. Because I've, I've had to go up to, um, I think the last time I used the Mono Mono Machine, I was using like 10 coins per pull. Just because the, uh, the percentage is that high. Still, you know, every, every little bit helps. Okay, and now you. Oh! Sayaka, Celeste, and Hifumi! Oh! Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? Yeah, it's... It's Hifumi. He's got his camera. Celeste, I'm... I'm assuming maybe he's taken a picture of her and she's like, hey, delete it, delete it. And he's like, no, I'm a hoe. And Sayaka's laughing in the background. Oh. Oh, girl. Damn. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. A classroom without metal plates over the windows? It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So, does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to Hope's Peak? I Makoto! I... I get it, Makoto. You don't remember. You don't remember. However... Going off your logic, Makoto, if Sayaka, Celeste, and Hifumi all knew each other from before, and Leon, Mondo, and Chihiro all knew each other from before, why did none of them mention it? Why did Sayaka only bring up that she knew you from junior school or whatever? Like, I, mm, Makoto, think it through, think it through. Memory shenanigans. Come on, bud. It's okay. I'm gonna get you there. I'm convinced. Memory shenanigans. Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here. No, they knew each other from here. Before I met you, I met you, or whatever Hifumi said. I can't remember the line off the top of my head, but it was something like that. Including Sayaka? No. There's no way Monokuma did it. It must be fake. Monokuma might be great with Photoshop. I don't know, but it's not. <laughs> no! You're fake! Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then you're saying this picture is real? Hey, um... If there were such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad. Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, um... But it's no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true. 
The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If if that's true. If that's the case, that's it, Makoto. Think it through. Use your logic. And he stopped. Okay then, bud. Okay. That's fine. You're getting there. You're getting there and I will take that. Now then, hello. The nameplate on the door says Headmaster's Room. The Headmaster's Room? There must be something worthwhile in there. And it's locked. Oh. Huh? The door's locked. Damn it. Oh, you. There's juicy evidence in there. I can smell the evidence. I can smell the clues through the screen. Mm. I'll be back for you later when the game lets me. Oh, I, I love collecting clues. It's so satisfying to me. Okay, anything? Nope, nothing on the walls. Okay. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Oh, I... Sayaka would have loved this. Sayaka would have absolutely loved this. Oh, hello. Yeah, nothing, nothing new here. And nothing new here. Okay, what else do we have? We have the piano. Okay, just that. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. Now then, hello, my dear. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Oh, shh. Kyoko, if you blame us for evidence getting lost, um, that's a negative 12 points right there on my table of where you're at, love. If you... I hope she won't. I hope she won't. But if she dare be like, oh, you were so stupid to get followed and allow yourself to get knocked out by El Professor, what the fuck? Like, I, I'm i going to be pissed. About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah! Well, um, I did find the secret room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked? By who? By the masked Mexican wrestler, El Profesor, that's who. Well, they came from behind and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountain of files and documents were all gone. Hmm. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. Makoto, you have nothing to apologize for. You were badly attacked. Like, you really don't have anything to apologize for there. That's fine. Okay, okay. she's being reasonable. She's not blaming us. It's okay. I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspected the mastermind might come after you. Then why the fuck did you send us there? Like... I thought you were sending us there to let us in on your, like, what you know. No, I was just like, fuck it, he'll get, get attacked. It's for Kyoko. Why didn't you warn us? If you thought that we were gonna get at what? Kyoko actively sent us into an ambush there. A 
actively sent us to go and get attacked, if you thought someone was going to be attacked, anyone with a basic amount of empathy, or anyone who just wasn't an asshole, would just be like, hey, go to this place, but be careful, I think it's being watched, there's a chance you might be attacked. Did Kyoko do that? No. No. I don't. I'm gonna say this. On one hand, I get what Kyoko's trying to do. People need to figure stuff out for themselves. And that's not what I'm complaining about. It's not the fact that Kyoko doesn't just like, oh, let me tell you the mystery. Because one, that would be incredibly dull to play through. If every time, you know, it came like investigation, Kyoko just popped up and went, let me tell you what happened. I'm not gonna give you the, the option to look for clues. That would be incredibly dull. What would even be the point of playing that game? That would be immensely dull. So I'm not... I'm not complaining about that. And also the idea of like, the students have to come to this realization themselves. I'm not complaining about that either because I I get... I get where she's coming from. Oh God, I have... I have so many thoughts running through my head right now. Um. Verbalize it, Callista. Verbalize in your brain. Okay. Um. Story time with Callista. Okay. When I was in secondary school, high school, for the Americans out there, I was the slowest kid in my class. I failed each and every single test that was put in front of me. I always finished my work the slowest. And it, it just wasn't a good time. I think I, I didn't really know how to cope with my learning disability and my school really wasn't the best equipped for that. Like they had an amazing dyslexia program. They really helped out the dyslexic kids, but I'm not dyslexic. And so they were kind of like, if you want to know, I'm dyspraxic. That's specifically what I am. And they didn't know how to deal with that. And so they were just kind of like, oh, we're going to give all these other kids, all this amazing help, and you can just kind of sit there and do your own thing and figure it out for yourself. And because I always finished my work the slowest, a lot of their teachers, how they kind of got around with that, when they got to like the end of, you know, whatever they were teaching for that, you know, that specific lesson, they basically be like, okay, Callista, how much have you done? Um, Susan fill out Callista's sheet for her and so Susan in this case would come over write in all the answers and kind of look at me like you can thank me now and I would sit there and I'd think why why would I thank you I don't know how you came to those answers like I I'm gonna have to do this again in my own time and I'm not gonna know if I've got the method right or if I'm just trying to get 63 you know like whatever whatever they put like i don't i've been denied the chance to learn i have been denied the chance to figure something out for myself why would i be grateful for that why would i be grateful that you have taken knowledge from me what and if anyone dare say you're complaining about having less work to do no that's not the point it was the assumption that i wouldn't be able to figure it out the assumption that I was too stupid to figure something out on my own. So the fact that Kyoko is actively going, you know what, I'm going to let you figure it out. I've got the answers, but I'm not going to give them to you straight away. I am going to give you the chance to learn on your own. I'm like, I appreciate that. I appreciate you giving the other students the ability to learn. That's not what I have an issue with. One, it's the fact that she seems kind of smug about it. And two, she wanted Makoto to learn by going into the records room. That's clearly what she was going for. There were clues in there. She wanted to see if we could figure it out for ourselves. However, if you know that there's someone who's going to attack them, you warn them. What if they had a knife? What if they had nicked one of the justice hammers? Makoto could be dead now. And it would be on Kyoko. Because Kyoko just for whatever reason decided, I'm not going to tell you that. I 
for a split second on Friday's episode, I was really hopeful for Kyoko. I was like, we're starting the redemption arc. Like, I was happy. I was happy with Kyoko and this right here, I'm like, and back to the negative 50 points. I... <clears throat> It's okay. It's okay. You okay, Kyoko? I I don't know why I expected more from you. Okay. What? <laughs> Makoto's just like, bitch. What? Because when I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. Why the fuck didn't you warn me? You could have come with me! Would the mastermind have come after two people? We could have gotten Sakura! We didn't know that Sakura was the mole at the time. We could have, we could have gotten everyone. We could have gotten everyone and gone into the room. The mastermind wouldn't have been able to do jack shit. And yes, Sakura would have found out about the stuff, but it wouldn't have mattered because everyone knew about it. I what is your end game, Kyoko? What are you doing? Why are you using Makoto as a guinea pig? Makoto could have died. Makoto could have brain damage. He he got really fucked up. Like. Kyoko wants to get out of the school. She wants to do it quick. I get that. She wants to be expedient. That is no excuse for this. The fact that, like, I, I just... There's no excuse! I, I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Slap the fuck out of her, Makoto. Slap the shit out of her. Come on. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. I love how she doesn't give a shit that we got attacked. She's not like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm so sorry. This, this lady has no empathy. Human life is meaningless to this lady, and she had the gall to be like, Oh, do you care so little about your fellow classmates? Do you care so little about your fellow classmates? Then you knew I was gonna get attacked. That doesn't matter. Sexism! What the fuck? I do. Kyoko's at minus 100 for me again. I, no, no, I'm just... Ky Kyoko can't be redeemed. She's irredeemable. Completely and utterly. I... Again, if the game presents me with something... If she apologises. If she apologises and tries to do better, I'm there for it. But I... I can't forget this. I can't forget what she's done. I don't know if I can even forgive what she's done, but I can put it behind me. But until then, this girl is a bitch. This girl is like Byakia 2.0. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna say this again. The fact that she's the most intelligent person is irrelevant. The fact that all she wants to do is get the students to safety is irrelevant if you're like oh i want them to get to safety so i'm going to allow this guy to be attacked where is the logic where is the logic there i don't i know kyoko's popular i know i'm i'm definitely pissing people off i know that but i'm i'm sorry this is my opinion the fact that you like kyoko isn't invalidated by my opinion this is just my opinion I, I'm not, and I'm also, I'm not going to hide my opinion either. I'm, 
I like, and the game is showing me stuff. I'm gonna react to it. I. Okay, okay, back, back to the game, Callista. Focus, just focus on the thing. You can handle that kind of thing, though, right? After all, you're a boy, and I'm a sexist piece of shit. What does she think a boy is? If she thinks boys are robots. But you need to verbalize that, Kyoko. I think that boys are all animatronics and not made of flesh and blood. I'm a dumbass. I... Makoto, drag her to the grand piano, place her fingers on the keys, and slam the lid shut repeatedly. I just... Even Byakuya can't spur me to this level of violence. Because Byakuya's a bitch, but he knows he's a bitch. Like, no one is trying to say, oh yeah, Byakuya's in the right. But again, Kyoko's like, I'm coming at this from a good place. I'm letting my fellow classmates get attacked on a whim. Fine. I understand. Then let me ask you as... I, I can't! <laughs> my brain has just gone, no, that's enough for today, Callista. That's... I... I'm, I'm gonna have to ask, for, for the people who do love Kyoko, why? Why do you like her? I'm, like, I'm seeing the same stuff that you've seen, like, please don't give me any spoilers. If it is literally like she comes through in the end, like, her, the, like the last hour of gameplay, Kyoko is so amazing that it completely negates everything else she did is that it please like again don't don't spoil me please i beg of you but like for the people who are kyoko stands what is it you love about her because i i just i don't get it i i genuinely really don't get it like is it her design she's got a very cool design she's really pretty like i She's super pretty, but so far, her personality has been absolutely fucked. I, I don't get it. Let's finish the conversation off. I don't... I want to start the next episode in a better headspace than I'm finishing this one, if that makes sense. Then let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left there in that... Wait. That is good grammar. I just read it stupidly. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Cameras. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I found out anything, I'll let you know. And then I'll send you into another ambush. Listen to me. Is that okay? She's actually trying to involve us again. Baby steps baby steps but you sent me into an ambush how can i trust anything you say that wasn't even a baby step that was just her asserting dominance okay she made it sound like she was asking but it was clear i wouldn't have a say in the matter why is she so popular really why so then fuck you Genuinely, I think speaking with Kyoko puts me in a worse mood than speaking with Byakuya does. Genuinely. Okay. So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. I'm hiding my hatred for you. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Call her a bitch, please. What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? If you're worried about the camera, why don't you just write it down, Kyoko? 
Um, well, call her a hypocrite. She's... Just get through it. Just get through it. Hey. That's what she said. She vomited. She vomited halfway through. What kind of friend? Fuck you, Timer. You can shut up at all. No, no, I'm not having this. I'm, I've gotten so pissed off. I'm overheating. I'm having to take off my card and card and cardigan and I can't talk anymore oh god we're friends so I sent you into an ambush knowing you'd be attacked and the fact that you have a penis for some reason made me think you had superhuman strength I'm genuinely starting to question Kyoko's intelligence I maybe she's a psychopath Maybe she's a psychopath. I don't. I. I. Mm -hmm. I'm getting pissed. Getting pissed. I'm already there. I'm fucking outraged. I just. She's such a hypocrite. I have to keep secrets because. Da 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 da. But oh, you're keeping secrets? Why don't you just write it down? I. Get through it, Callista. Get through it. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but we're not friends. There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. We can tell her or not tell her. I... I, for a minute then I was like, oh god, there's a time limit. No, it's the it's the music, doodad. I This girl has been incredibly hypocritical. She's the only one allowed to keep secrets. God forbid anyone else have a secret because it'd be a detriment to the group. But except for Kyoko, Kyoko's special. Kyoko can keep secrets and it won't be a detriment to the group. Not at all. Kyoko can also send people to get attacked knowing they will get attacked. If it would like, I had no blame for Kyoko in Makoto getting attacked. The, the mastermind figured out that people knew and they went after the next person who went in the room. That's, that's fair. But the fact that she was like, oh yeah, no, I knew you'd be attacked. And I sent you in without warning because I wanted to see what would happen. And I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to show any concern over your well-being. I... She's a hypocrite. Straight up. She is a hypocrite. She is sexist. She is a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry in the fucking slightest. At the same time, I have rallied against Kyoko keeping secrets. I have rallied against that and how bullshit it is because it puts the group at risk. Do I want to become that hypocrite by not telling her? We'd be rewarding her for her bullshit behavior. I think I'd rather not be a hypocrite, we'll tell her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. You saw with your eyes, Makoto. If I talk about it now, it could just make things that much worse. Or it could make things better. Friends shouldn't keep secrets, but... Tell her. If only you could see my face. So this isn't even a... Game, game. I'm, I'm already pissed off. Don't make me be pissed off at you. So now we have to be a hypocrite. Oh my god. I'm so upset. S sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Hmm. Correct. So, that's your answer. It wasn't what I wanted to answer, but fuck it. I have no choice.
However, literally, literally, this is what I was trying to avoid. Game, why would you force me into this situation? But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but now you're unwilling to share? I agree with you, Kyoko. I actually agree with you. Makoto is being incredibly hypocritical right now, but also you are a colossal bitch and you did cause him to get attacked. So I wouldn't trust you. I wouldn't trust you with a 10 foot pole like this is. I'm sorry, I really am. Hmm. That's fine. It's fine. She's gonna brood on that. She is absolutely gonna brood on that. Goodbye. Goodbye. With those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck about Kyoko's emotional state? She doesn't care about the physical well-being of others. Here's the thing, she's going to use that as justification for not telling us stuff in the future. She's going to do that, oh well you didn't tell me about that, so I'm not going to tell you about anything. I can tell, I can feel it in my gut, I... I'm genuinely so angry right now. Kyoko makes me angry in a way that I really don't like. I just... When I get angry at Byakuya, I, I, I think it's just kind of funny. <laughs> I, it's like funny anger rather than genuine like, I want to physically harm this person. With Kyoko, I want to physically harm this person. Like, I know I say like, beat the shit out of Byakuya all the time, but like, I don't actively expect the game to do that. Like with Kyoko, I'm like, how dare you? How dare you slam her hands with the fucking piano thing. Like, do it. Do it. Genuinely. I just... Well, I can safely say this has been my least favourite episode of Danganronpa that I've ever recorded. Because of Kyoko. Because of the game. I'm, I'm just upset now. I'm just really fucking upset. But, hopefully, by the next episode, I will have calmed down. So... Until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.